Wednesday already? Middle of the week? Hump day. (laughs) Happy Wednesday, everyone. What say let's see about some things that happened on September 25th? All right, here we go. Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for September 25th. September 25th is the 268th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 269th in leap years with 97 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is purr, not purr like a cat, purr, P-E-R. Purr can be an adjective, an adverb, a prefix, an abbreviation, or a preposition. The uses I was thinking of apparently fall under the umbrella of preposition, according to Merriam-Webster. Per can mean by way of, as in per bearer. It can mean for each, or with respect to every member of a specified group or series, as in miles per hour, or income per person. It might mean as indicated by or according to, as in Per list price. Per is a little bitty word that has many, many uses, and we could go on half the day examining each and every little nook and cranny of it, but I think this is enough for now. The word per comes to us from Latin. First known use of the word per is in the 1300s. Per. Today's word per appears here out of my own curiosity. I've been seeing and using the word per most of my life, another one of those words I understood by the context in which it was used. And when you give me a word of the day suggestion, I write that request in my little date book, which is over there somewhere. (laughs) I write that request in my little date book, word per the person that requested it. And if that request came in the comments, whether it was on YouTube or one of the other video platforms or even on Facebook. I'll take a screenshot of that request and plop it right into a special file that says words of the day. (laughs) That way I can find it when I'm ready to put it into a video. Using the word per on a nearly daily basis, I became curious as to what exactly does that mean anyway. Where did it come from? And here we are. (laughs) So if you have a word you'd like to see in this Word of the Day segment, drop it in the comments and we'll take a look at it. And with that, the Roman Senate selected Marcus Claudius Tacitus to be emperor on September 25th in the year 275. Some reports give this as the last time the Roman Senate elected an emperor, while other reports suggested that the military chose him and that this action by the Senate was merely a formality. His predecessor, Aurelian, was not a bad ruler, pretty good ruler in fact, but Aurelian had a reputation for being pretty strict. One of his secretaries had told a lie in a minor matter, but was afraid of what Aurelian might do if he found out. The brilliant plan of this lying secretary was to tell more and bigger lies. He forged a document listing the names of several high officials marked for execution and passed it around among his collaborators. I'm not sure if their names appeared on this fictitious list or if they were worried that he might think that they had something to do with it, but a few rather high-ranking guards of the Praetorian Guard feared punishment from the Emperor, so their brilliant plan was to murder Emperor Aurelian. A good Emperor, known for handing out severe punishments to corrupt officials and soldiers, Aurelian had done quite a bit of good for the Empire and was taken down by corrupt officials and soldiers. But today's item is about Marcus Claudius Tacitus. Marcus Claudius Tacitus was selected as emperor after the assassination of the previous Emperor Aurelius. We don't know much, if anything, about Tacitus before he was chosen to be emperor. We don't have a birthday for him. He was described as very old at the time of his election, although it's more likely that he was in his 50s. 
So he was elected emperor, and as soon as that was done, he asked the senators to deify Aurelian, and then arrested and executed Aurelian's murderers. Tacitus only lasted about six months as emperor, though. As we've mentioned before, in those days, the ruler led the charge, and he was on his way to defend an invasion when he died by some reports of a fever in June of 276, and by another account, assassinated. Since we don't have anything approximating a birthday for Tacitus, no idea how old he might have been when he died. Sequoia National Park was established by the United States Congress on September 25, 1890. As you might know, this park, located in California in the U.S., is famous for its giant sequoia trees. Now we have a playlist of episodes for this day in history, as well as a playlist of single subjects called, How About That? And words of the day in a playlist called, There's a Word for That. And I'll leave links to those playlists for you. Today's song is Abracadabra by Steve Miller Band. Earlier in September of 1982, the song Abracadabra had reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for a week and was edged out by another song for a couple weeks, and then returned to the number one spot for another week, which is where we find it on September 25th, 1982. Story has it that the band had separate recording contracts in the U.S. and Europe. They'd released Abracadabra in Europe, where it did very well. Steve Miller, though, said that Capitol Records hadn't wanted to record Abracadabra. They didn't think it had hit potential. He used the song's popularity everywhere else in the world as leverage to convince Capitol Records to let him release the song in the U.S. Abracadabra by Steve Miller Band. Number 1, September 25th, 1982. Link in the description. Alrighty, thank you so much. I hope life is going as smoothly as possible for you. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with the link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page called No Really. <laughs> You can also find me on Rumble, BitChute, and Odyssey. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Alrighty, back to work. I think we got it this time. <laughs>